Hello, welcome to my workshop. In art box this time, we're going to be working on the Halloween clay clown. So it should be quite easy and it will be a lot of fun. So here we go. So to make the Halloween clay clown, um, well, first of all, we're going to grab the foil that's in your box and I want you to screw it up into a ball. So it should end up about the size, a bit bigger, about an orange, a small orange, so bigger than a golf ball. It doesn't have to be too pretty because it's just going to be the inside of the head. Um, and that's so that if you just did a complete ball of clay, it would be way too heavy. Um, it, would, it would take ages to dry out and it would really crack badly. So we're going to uh, make this with the foil inside. Okay, so you're going to need your slip, which is in the little pot, and your plastic tools. Um, so, right, so you've made your fo foil ball. Uh, next thing is to get your clay out of your bag. Okay, so this is your clay. Um, grab a piece off and... What you're going to start to do is to pinch it so it's about five millimeters thick and again it doesn't have to be completely perfect so it's like this and wrap it around your ball quite roughly and do the same again rip off some clay pinch it till about five millimetres thick and wrap it round your ball. So then you can start to, with your thumb, is to smooth over the joins because you're going to make a ball. Okay, I'll need a little bit more there, so just grab a bit more, pinch it, place it on there. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect because it is a Halloween clown after all. It's not going to look perfect and lovely. Okay, so you've got your ball. And what I did now is to, um, is to, with your thumbs, is to push the eye sockets. So you need to push a little bit hard so that it looks like that okay so that's the start of your face is the two eye sockets um, what I'm going to do now is just with a blob of clay is to put it at the back so that it will keep this still for when we're doing the face so grab a piece of clay and roll it in your hands. This is going to be one of your eyeballs. Okay, you've got to decide how big you want it to be. It's about the size of a Malteser, I think. Probably could go a bit smaller, so just pinch a bit off. Roll it again. Then you want to do two the same. Um, and then you need to make the nose. So that it could be similar size, could be a little bit bigger. So let's get them done. Okay. So in the eye socket, you want to scrape, it's called scratching, into the eye sockets so that the clay will stick to itself. And you'll need your slip here, which is your glue. So under your pot. And then you can put a little bit of slip in there. If you don't put this on, then when it dries out, it will probably fall off. So you can put your eyeballs in there. Now, I think I've decided they're a bit too big. So it doesn't matter. Pinch it. 
make it smaller. Push your eyeball in. Put that eyeball in as well. So that you, the slip will make it stick and that's what you need. Right, so the next thing is the nose. Again, scratch and slip. Right there. And I'm gonna use that smaller piece as the nose. Um, and then you could scratch, just make it rough there, just so that it's going to stick on properly. Okay, let's move on to the mouth. Now you need to make a long worm shape. So pinch it and then you can roll it in your hands till it's fairly long. You can roll it on your board. If you push too hard, it will go flat. So you need to be gentle and just roll it gently like this. So it's thinner than a pencil. So this is going to be the mouth. So I'm going to, that's, one corner of his mouth and that's the other corner so then you can join that up roughly so that you've got a circle shape uh, then that's going to be the mouth so again what I said about scratching just make this area rough so that it's going to stick nicely and a little bit of slip So you can start to put your mouth on. What I did was to open it a bit wider because we're going to put the scary teeth in. So although he's smiling, once you get the teeth in and then once you've got the eyebrows on, it will start to look quite scary. Okay, so that's on fine. Um, what you can do now if you want just to give it a bit of interest, is to poke and twist the holes for the eyes. If you twist, then obviously the tool will come out a bit easier for you. Okay, so the next thing is the eyebrows. So if you've got any of this worm left, you can use some of that. Um, roll it in your hands, make it a bit thinner needs to be thinner than the mouth uh, and then you can put it on the eyeball again we need to put a bit of a scratch you can make all this nice and smooth afterwards scratch it a little bit slip on there Now, if you curl the eyebrow like that, it's going to look angry and scary and then going up on the outside edge. Okay. So you've got one eyebrow. You've got to make the other one the same. Doesn't matter if they're exactly the same because obviously it's a Halloween clown. So... Put that over the top of his eyebrow, of his eyeball, and wind it around. Um, you're going to need to make this a bit, that a bit shorter. They they can join in the middle. That's quite fun. Right. Okay. Um, then you could start to clean that up a bit. Smooth it in. Okay, so you've got your scary eyebrows. Let's push that down a bit more. Okay. 
Okay, that looks a bit more menacing, I think. Okay, so teeth. So if you've got any more of your worm left, you can make these sort of slug shapes. Okay, so it's easier to make it like that. And then put it on your table and with your tool, if you cut them in half and then they look perfect for teeth, okay? So make six of those, so make six teeth. So you make three slugs and cut them in half. Right, so I'm going to now pick his head up. Or tilt it, tilt it that way. And then you should be able to see. You could always put a bit of clay underneath just to keep it stable while you're putting the teeth in. Um, it needs some slick inside the mouth so that the teeth stick nicely. Okay, under there, all in his mouth. And then get your teeth and then poke them in his mouth underneath that top lip. Right, so you can always faff about with these afterwards, making them look right. That's pretty much how he's looking at the moment. You can push them down a little bit. Okay. Right, and then the final thing to do is to do the hair. So, the good thing about this is I'm just going to make it look really rough because when we paint it, it will look really cool. So, on the back of the head, the top and the back of the head, scratch away, make it all nice and rough so that the clay sticks. Put some slip all over it. Grab a piece of clay. And the good thing about when you grab a piece of it is it's looking like messy hair already. Um, so you put your first piece on. It looks nice if it's kind of pointy at the top. And then you can smooth it in with your tool. Okay. I mean, the first one, the bit at the top at the front can be curling over so that it looks like his fringe is coming forward. And then you just grab some other random bits of clay. And then you can stick it all over. Have some fun with it so that it looks really messy. Okay, so once you've done the whole head, that's pretty much it. Um, you can obviously take those bits off the bottom. Okay, and then depending if you want him to look straight ahead or if you want him to look up at you, you can flatten the back of it or you can put some clay underneath. But there we go. There's a clown head. So you can dry out your clay by letting it dry naturally. It will take a couple of days or you, if you want to do it quickly you can put it in the oven on some parchment on a baking tray. 
on the very low setting of your oven. Um, and it's, it could take a couple of hours. You just you can keep opening the door every now and then just to check, um, see if it's dried through completely. Um, but that doesn't that needs some adult supervision, of course. So my clay head is now dry. Um, if any bits of are uh, loose or falling off, you'll need your slip, which is the grey pot, and. Um, then you can apply it to where its bits have fallen off. Um, so it's it's basically clay glue. Okay, so once you've done that, and then you can paint it straight away because the slip dries pretty quickly. So that's all fine. So to paint the clown, we're gonna go and head with, we've got a white, a red and a black. So what we're gonna do first is to paint the hair. So as you can see, uh, it's black all inside, which I felt gave it some nice depth. And then I've painted it red on the tips of his hair. So you could just paint it all red if you want to do that. But if you want it to look my, like mine, uh, you can um, paint it black first. So there's the sponge stick here um, and dip it into your black paint and just really quite roughly push it into all the crevices of the hair so that will that will take you a little while so i'm going to speed up for the the video for this point so you may want to pause it until you've caught up So you've got all the black inside the bottom of the hair. Uh, you can use your brush, your paintbrush as well to get into the little crevices that you've missed. Um, and then I want you to paint your eyebrows. Um, so you may want to pause the video while you've done that. I need you to then paint inside the mouth. Don't be too precious about it because it is meant to be a scary Halloween clown so it doesn't have to be too perfect so you've got eyebrows and you've got inside the mouth and then you've got the bottom of his hair okay so now you can put your paintbrush in your little pot of water so you can start to wash out your brush um, you can wash out your sponge get rid of the black from that sponge um, so then you can then dry the sponge off and get some red paint onto your sponge and I want you to start dabbing the hair because the sponge can give a nice thick coating of the acrylic and it's a bit quicker than the brush so apply that all to all the hair dabbing away okay um, again I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to pause the video and speed it up a bit. So you may want to pause it until you've caught up. You can blend in the, the red to the black a little bit with your brush. If you've still got black on your brush um, or if you've washed it already, then just either blend in the black or the red, whatever you feel like so that you can just make that look a bit more interesting in the hair. I suppose it looks a bit like flames, which I thought looks a bit more interesting. Okay. So then we're going to move on to the white. So wash your brush out, make sure it's all out, all the paint, um, and then dry it off with a bit of kitchen towel or a bit of tissue. Um, then we're going to paint the face white. If you do make any mistakes, don't worry. You can always just let it dry for five minutes 
um, and then paint over it. Acrylic's very good like that. It's quite opaque. Um, any mistakes can be rectified very easily. So, forehead, those cheeks, So just pause the video at any point if you haven't got one up yet. Okay. Um, so actually eyeballs as well. And then the last thing I'm going to do is use the red to do the nose and the mouth. And a little bit of red round his eyes so they look bloodshot. So um, with the white Paint his teeth as well. Okay. Just pause the video if you need to catch up. And I'm going to move on to the red. So wash your brush out. And then we can move on to the lips. Right, so he's got red lips now, and you can paint his clown nose in red. Okay, so take most of the paint off your brush to make it into a point because we're going to do some little fine bits now so you can poke your brush into the hole of the eye and wiggle it about and then that gives it a nice little red touch makes him look a bit scary and then what you can do is in the sockets of the eyes just push the paintbrush into that as well so that he looks like he's got bloodshot eyes. Okay. 
If you make a mistake with the acrylics, just let it dry for five minutes and then you can go over it with the colour where you made the mistake. See, I'm getting the white caught there. Just go over it with a bit more paint. Okay, so that's nearly done. We just want to put a little bit of red just on the very top of his gums so that they look, it looks like blood in his mouth. So just on the very top of the teeth. And if you've missed any bits on the inside of the mouth, you could do a little bit of red as well. Um, by then, hopefully, your red nose will be dried. Because um, what I did was to do a white dot on the nose to make it look like it's shiny. So you need to wash your brush out again. Um, dry it properly. And then with make your brush into a point um, and then you can I normally put my fingers like this to balance so that you can get your position right where you want to put it or on there and just it wasn't a good circle so I'm just going to blob it again so you've got a nice round circle there I think we're done. So I just let them dry. And there's your clown. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and I've got some other art boxes um, on my Etsy page shop and um, some other tutorials on YouTube as well. Bye.